Thank you, Amber. And thank you, um, Lady Q, um, sweet pea, for reminding me um, that Amber wanted to be a part of this celebration, too. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right, family, can you just recite the sermonic prayer to yourselves as I read it out loud? Lord, prepare our hearts to receive your word and prepare our spiritual hearing to hear your word. Lord, help us to move from illumination to transformation to application. Amen. 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 I want to tonight, I want to lift the topic for us. Um, Lady Q is going to be very spicy tonight. Let's ride. Here it is. Um, A backstage pass to Christmas. A backstage pass to Christmas. Family. Uh, when go to concerts, mom, and, and we go and enjoy ourselves. And Sister Carol, um, it is a wonderful thing when we go to the concert, but then to add more to it when we get a backstage pass. Mm. Yeah. Those who have a backstage pass, Dick and Daryl, have access to areas that general people do not have access to. Um, they have a pass, Dad, and they wear it around their neck so that they can be able to move around and to be able to see um, the things that go on behind the scenes and to be able to meet the uh, person um, that is going to be featured um, as the main person on the stage. Now, family, today, God has given us, um, Lady Q, a backstage pass for us to put on how many of us can agree early on in the sermon during the advent season um the majority of our thoughts revolve around the events that took place right um the innkeeper y'all remember the innkeeper don't you mm-hmm. hold up to the innkeeper and say we ain't got no room ain't no room and no vacancy the light is off ain't nothing uh going on here and um, we have joseph which we had a discussion about we have mary we have elizabeth and we have zachariah and family they're they're going um they're on the main stage the wise men they're bringing gifts the heavenly messengers and the angels and gabriel and the angel of the lord and all this is going on on the main stage but family god is saying to us tonight that I want to give you a backstage pass because the main person that is to take the stage, family, he got something to say. Family, um, the angel, you remember the angel? He told Joseph how loyal and obedient he was. And knowing that Joseph and Mary, um, dad, will be the joke in the Nazarene streets. Family, in this pre-planned production, we have so many scenes, Gail, before us, before even Jesus comes to the main stage. Family, that's what we're doing right now. We're getting our minds and our hearts ready to celebrate, hallelujah, our king that is to come in the manger. But before the king comes on the stage, family, He's telling us, can you come to the backstage? Come to my dressing room. I have something to share with you. Family, how many of us have even considered Christmas according to the one who's going to come on the main stage? Mary has told her side of the Christmas story, Joseph, and we got everybody else. But the main attraction is saying, come to the backstage. And I want you to sit down and hear the conversation that I am having with my father. Family, how many of us agree early on in this sermon? We have heard the Christmas story told in so many ways. But have we really heard the Christmas story told according to the one who is the featured person? Family, lest I hold you too long. The book of Hebrews, family, is written to people who are going through persecution. Family, they all they knew was to hold on to the law. Digging there, they they said uh, salvation stops with the sacrifice. It it stops 
with the law, but they wanted to say, you know what? We want to go back to what we are familiar with, and that is uh, Judaism. Mm, yeah. Here comes these Judaizers. They're saying, Sister Kara, listen, you don't want no parts of this Christianity. You don't want no parts of being a part of Jesus Christ uh, because all that you're doing now is suffering. What type of God will have you to go through what you're going through? No, just give that up. We got our own set of laws. We got our own way of living life. You didn't got to put up with that. And family, listen, how many of us agree that them Judaizers are still alive right now? There are people that will come and tell us, you know, how can God love you um, when you're going through what you're going through? How can God be a loving God when there's a world that's really in rocky and sin and violence? How can God do something like this? But family, we need to tell people, we need to tell the people in this world that, listen, God has, listen, God has nothing to do with what's going on. These are the decisions that people have made on their own. But I am here to let you know that, listen, there's another way that you can go. Listen, family, how many of us are glad, listen, you're going to mute yourself and shout right now. How many of you glad that you have taken another way? Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Family, family, I'm getting happy already. I'm just in my intro. The book of Hebrews is saying, listen, sacrifices have failed, but mm -hmm. here it is, you all. The Lamb of God has come to fix what has failed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, God. yeah, yeah. God, God is telling us right now, family, before we even get to Christmas, that we need to go to the backstage of it all and see, family, that listen, what bulls and turtle doves and all of them, watch mm -hmm. this, they fail, y'all, but there's a lamb that was slain before the foundation yeah. of the world, and watch this, y'all, yeah. the system still works even now. His blood is still saving. Yeah. Even now, this baby that came in the manger is still saving people. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to the Most Thank High God. You. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Family, family, who would have thought, family, that a baby would have turned this world right side up? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Who, who would have thought that a baby would come that was a threat to a grown king to the point where he wanted to kill all the babies? Who would have thought that a baby would come and just take everybody and bring everybody together? Jesus. Family, I'm coming to serve notice to us tonight that, listen, family, before we get all wrapped up in the tree, before we get wrapped up in the presence, before we get wrapped up in the little dinner that we're going to have, can y'all take a journey with me in the backstage? Come on, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can y'all take a journey with me and let's go backstage uh, because watch this, nigga, there, that's Jesus is back there. He said, listen, y'all need need to do what y'all need to do, but I need to tell y'all something. I had a conversation yeah. with my daddy, and my daddy said, listen, um, we have premeditated this thing, and Jesus yeah. said, listen, I'm ready now, daddy. Give me a body. Give me blood, and yeah. let me come to the earth and bring a people back to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank Jesus. You, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Family, yeah. he said, he said, family, uh, daddy, I'm willing. Here it is, Sister Carol. I'm willing um, to take on some feelings. I'm willing to take on some emotions. I'm willing to step down out of glory and put on a flesh suit and step into humanity and let them know that there is another way. Yes, Lord. Yes, Thank Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Family, the writer of the Hebrew text. We don't know who the writer is. And can I just be real with y'all? I really don't care. But all I do care about is that he wrote it or she wrote it or whoever wrote it, wrote it. And here he is now. Um, the writer of Hebrews said, listen, family, that all these sacrifices, family, these people have to come year after year. Time 
time oh. after time when they have messed up you're running around looking for some animals <laughs> i need to go to the priest, I done messed up again. Here it is. I mean, I done messed up. I need to go get this turtle dove. I need to go get this pigeon. I need to go on up to this worship center and give them this animal. And this priest had to shed blood. And we had to just go in there and say, you know what, Father? I done messed up again. Here's my pigeon. And listen, family, if that system was in place in 2022, there would be no animals. Yeah. Amen. Oh, Amen. How many of us agree? We don't see it. We see it so much. I can't even bring a turtle dove or a pigeon. I'm bringing this whole entire cow in here. Yeah. All right. All right. I, right. I, I done messed up. Have mercy, Lord. Thank the you. family, how many of us can shout right here in my intro? Yeah. That aren't you glad that the lamb was slain and took away everything that we were ever Glory to God. Yes. Yes. I know you probably wondering, like, yes, Pastor, Thank why you, are you talking about Calvary on Christmas? Yes. Can I tell you something? Christmas have Calvary overtones. Because if it wasn't for the cradle, we wouldn't have the cross. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank, Thank you, Lord. You. Family, listen. Yeah. Our Lord and Savior family, he, Mama Olive, they couldn't even give him baby clothes. They wrapped him in swaddling clothes. Watch this. You only wrap that which is dead in swaddling clothes. Jesus. Jesus. Who is it? That our Savior was born and living, and they wrapped him in dead man clothing because they understood that he was born to die. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Family. He came into this world to die for us, uh, digging down so that. Those that are born dead can become alive if they say yes to the one who gives life. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Family. Family, I like this text because this text tells us that, watch this, family, when they went in with this animal, um, Deacon Rise, um, they went in with this animal, and as they went in with this animal, it was a reminder of their defect. <laughs> Whew, family, I know we was taught, family, and I'm going to bless y'all right here. I said, Lord, you are amazing. He stopped by, um, Dad, he said this. He said, listen, T, it wasn't about the animal. I could care less about the animal. All I cared about when it came to sacrifice in the Old Testament was the mouth and the obedience behind the one who brought the animal. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. God is saying, I didn't take pleasure in an animal, an innocent animal getting killed. I took pleasure in the fact of the one who brought me the animal. Yes. Family. Thank you, Lord. Here we are. In our text today, now, family, as he talks about how these sacrifices, <laughs> Team Jones, come up short, family, there's not enough animals in this world that can atone for all the sin that we have done and that we will ever do. Jesus. <laughs> God will have to keep, <laughs> keep creating a whole bunch of pictures in surplus and turtle doves and all types of animals. Because how many of us agree? We sin each and every day, every second, every minute, we done committed a sin. Enough family. One sin is enough to just, you know what? It's over. Mm. But how many of us thankful for God's mercy? And uh, his uh, grace. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Here it Thank is, family. You. My first point I want to lift to us tonight. Jesus is the solution to the problem of sin. Jesus is the solution to the problem 
of sin. How many of y'all glad about that tonight? Jesus yeah. is a solution yeah. to the Hallelujah. problem Hallelujah. of sin. Verses 5 through 7. Y'all ready for this? Therefore, when Christ came into the world, he said, sacrifice and offering did, did, you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. With burnt offerings and sin offerings, you were not pleased. Then I said, here I am. It is written about me in the scroll. I have come to do your will, uh, my God. Family. Now, what's interesting is these verses are very exciting. These verses is very charged because it provides us with a fantastic window of insight. How many of y'all got your backstage passes on? Mm-hmm. Let's keep on going. Here it is. The Hebrew author drew inspiration from, watch this lady Q, Psalms 40, 6 through 8. He said these words, not just spoken by the psalmist, but they were spoken by Jesus to God the Father when he was standing on the threshold of heaven before he left to take on human tissue in the belly of the Virgin Mary. Mm-hmm. Moments prior to his in- incarnation in Mary's womb, watch this, you all, we're listening in on a conversation between two members of the Trinity, and we're able to listen to it, family, because we got a backstage pass. Watch this, family. The principal point Jesus made to God the Father was the sacrifices and contributions uh, you have not wanted and consuming contributions and sin contributions. You didn't want that because, watch this, family, uh, you didn't take no joy in that. Mm. Family, um, we are aware that he's referring to the entire sacrificial system of the Old Testament by describing these various kinds of offerings. Even though the Old Testament sacrificial system was created by God the Father, Jesus stated, watch this, you all, it did not please him. Mm. Mm. The reason why God the Father was not satisfied with the Hebrew scriptures reconciling framework is that the the sacrifices in the Hebrew scriptures were never, watch this family, intended to be the last answer to wrongdoing and sin. Family, keep in mind that all that God the Father created them, watch this, digger, there was a shadow. It was, what says you are, a living image pointing people toward what Jesus will ultimately accomplish. Family, watch this. Let me give you an illustration. Can I give you all an illustration right here? You remember Moses? Yeah, in Exodus, family. And those plagues, Sister Carol, rained down on the Egyptians. I mean, they didn't know what in the world was going on. And God is saying, I am here um, as the I am that I am. I'm coming to let your idol gods know that they have no power over me. Dad, I love it because all these plagues attacked that which they considered to be their God, family. But the ultimate play that got their attention was the last one. And that was the killing of the firstborn. And family, uh, God said, Moses, I need for you to give them some instruction. Um, I need for you to go and get this animal. Yeah, get this lamb. (laughs) <laughs> and I need for you to get everybody together. It's a unity project. Y'all ready for this? Um, everybody get the lamb, and y'all go in your house and watch this, Dad. I love it because he said, "Listen, for the ones that can't afford it, um, take them in your house hospitality, so that woo, so that they could be covered by this blood." From this lamb that you got to put on the doorpost. Family, um, how many of y'all glad that you've been covered? <laughs> Hallelujah. So, 
this okay, I'll try and let this go. This love that was slain. He said, Listen, y'all need to hurry up. I'm um, getting this house because listen, the age of death is about to sweep through. Mm-hmm. And and listen, when the angels sweep through, if you not hey, whoa, if you don't have no covering, are you mm-hmm. gonna be consumed? Family, how many of us could shout right here on this Wednesday night, family? Then listen, the reason why we have not been consumed because of coverage. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, the reason why you have not been consumed by your grief, by your depression, by your lack, well, yeah. because you can cover it. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Family. And then here it is. When we watch this family, um, it's too weak to access the covering that we have, aren't you glad that you got some family that say, come in, boo, and get under this canopy because you need some covering. Family, the firstborn dad of Egypt, everything that was firstborn died from the Pharaoh's household all the way to the stalls because they didn't have no coverage. We are covered, family, oh, by the Lamb. And, and Jesus said so many words, family. He said, listen, I need you, Daddy, to prepare a body for me. Because watch this, you all. I want to put that which has been premeditated into motion. <laughs> he said, Daddy, give me a body and let me go down out of love in a manger. And let me go get my crew. <laughs> let me go and let me bring the people that you have created and bring them back to you. Family, aren't you glad that Jesus told his daddy, I'll go. Mm, I'll go. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go. The animals have failed, daddy, but I will be the lamb to go down. Yes. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Sir. Thank For you, everyone. Jesus. Thank you. Family, here it is. This is doctrinal for us. Um, Here's evidence that Jesus was born to a Virgin Mary. Watch this, y'all. Who was the one who made Jesus' body in Mary's womb? Watch this, family. Y'all ready to shout tonight? It wasn't a human father, but God the Father. I like this, y'all. God the Father says, son, listen. I cannot let a human man make your body. I'll make your body. Mm. Yes, I'll make your body. And you will watch this, y'all. Ooh, y'all. The divine essence of himself stepped in to a human suit, came down out of heaven into Mary's womb. Family. He said, I, God the Father said, I'll make your body. I'll make the body. <laughs> Listen, y'all. Uh, I'm reminded of life. Y'all remember life? Life say, uh, I hear God say from heaven, dig it down. I'm the pappy. I'm the one that's responsible for this right here. Mm, family, this was a part of God's original plan, y'all. From the beginning. This was God's plan for dealing with sin. Um, this to make a shout right here, family. Ooh. That God had an answer. Watch this, family. And I shared this before. God had an answer to every question. God had a, a solution to every problem before they became a question and before it became a problem. Amen. Y'all should shout tonight. Amen. Listen, Amen. Everything that we ever go through, family, the solution has already been given Amen. to us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And family, he goes on to say that this was written about him in the scroll of the book. Jesus said, y'all stick out your back page, y'all backstage pass on. Yeah, this is, good, this is a good pass, ain't it? Yes. Jesus is saying in so many words, watch this, family. You cannot deny this because, watch this, if you just press rewind, um, everybody in the Old Testament was making announcements about my rights. Jesus. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't yeah. listen to the false teachers. Mm-hmm. Uh, family, don't try to figure this out. All you got to do is press rewind. All the prophets talked about me. All the prophecies was there about me. And they died holding on to that mm-hmm. which they will never see. The scrolls, family, he said, talks about me. Y'all, I'm like, I, I like being in Jesus' dressing room, y'all. He, I like this mm. invitation here. You understand me? He said, listen, since we're back here, let me tell you something about me. Jesus, as he said this, about as he's about to enter into Mary's womb, he says this in another way. Can I put it another way for you? The Old Testament, he's saying, listen, the God, the Father, has always been telling people through direct prophecy, examples, and illusions and dreams that his plan was to send his son into the world in a human body to solve the problem of sin once and for all. Family, he's saying, Jesus is saying, if you look back, you will see that they've been talking about me before I became a me. (laughs) Jesus is saying, they've been talking about me well, this is girl, before I step down out of glory. Yeah. I put all of this into place. Family, I love um, when you read Psalms 40, um, you read those verses, family, there, um, six through eight, there is this remix there. And what the Hebrew writer does, family, he uses the same verses, but he says something. He puts some words there. And I know some of y'all smart. And I, listen, and I've been around y'all a long time. Well, Pastor, why he didn't say the exact same thing that David said right here? And I know y'all real smart. Uh, so just in case y'all got some notes, uh, Pastor, we got some questions that you did not answer. I'm going to answer all y'all questions tonight. Here it is, family. Uh, what the writer of Hebrew was using was a Septuagint. The Septuagint is the Greek version of the Old Testament. And so here it is, family. When um, the writer uses the word ear in his prophecy, he uses the Hebrew writer, looks at the Septuagint and uses the Greek form and use body. So what he's saying is, family, that David is saying, Lord, I am so committed to you that I'm giving you my ear. Deacon Dale, what is he saying? I'm glad y'all asked that question. He's mm-hmm. saying, listen, I want to give you my undivided attention. I want to give you my ear. I want to give you my ear so that I not can hear you, but listen to you. Yes, Lord. And when I listen to you, then I can be able to obey you. And what Jesus is saying here, Lord, I'm not only going to give you my ear, but I'm going to give you my body so that I can obey you and do what your will have been premeditated for me to do. Mm. Family. Because God the Father did not like animal sacrifices, Felicia, Christ offered himself as a greater sacrifice for sin. (laughs) Jesus' incarnation, his birth, and his death as the final remedy for sin was always God's plan. Mm. Family. I love this text. Y'all, y'all loving this back. Yeah, y'all loving this, y'all. Jesus is a solution to the problem of sin. But here's the second point I want to lift to us tonight. Jesus' sacrifice replaced all sacrificial system. <clears throat> Verses eight through nine. Y'all ready for this? First, he said, sacrifice and offering, burnt offerings and sin offerings, you do not desire, nor will you please with them. Though they were offered in accordance with the law, watch this, you all, verse 9. Then he said, here I am. I have come to do your will. And he sets aside the first to establish the second. Oh, y'all, this is good right here. (laughs) According to the author of Hebrews, Jesus was always going to take the place 
of the temporary old covenant system. Family, how many of y'all could just unmute yourself and shout right here? Aren't you glad that we don't no longer live under the old covenant? Amen. 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 If we live under the old covenant, we would not be having this uh, good worship right here. Amen. Um, Watch this family. But due to the fact these animal sacrifices have been part of the culture for more than um, so many years, many people in that time struggled to comprehend this. Their desire was, family, to affix Jesus to the previous system. Pause. That was the issue that the Pharisees, Sister Carol, and the scribes had because they couldn't let the system go. We can't let the old go. And family, that is dangerous when we walk in some of our churches. You are the stench of traditionalism will suffocate us. Jesus. Because of the fact, family, there's some old things. How many of y'all been in some church like that? There's some old things we just can't let go of. Mm. And there are those family who are suffocating in the coffins of traditionalism. Go ahead and bury them because there's no room for them right here. Because what says you all? The message doesn't change, but the method do. Mm. Amen. Family, Man. Here, it, here it is. Man. They had a problem, Sister Carol, with Jesus. Jesus, we ain't got time for you. Let's get this pigeon. Let's go ahead and do this. But Jesus said, put the pigeon down and pick me up. Jesus. Put the pigeon down. Come yes. to me. I am the lamb. I will do more. What's this? Did that pigeon whatever do? Amen. Family. Um, it was only intended to be a temporary system. Jesus is saying, I'm coming to replace the entire old covenant system that pointed to him because he's so much greater. Mm-hmm. Family. And because of this, y'all ready to shout tonight because y'all been shouting good on this Wednesday night. Here it is. Because of this, you and I no longer have to sacrifice animals. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Jesus' Amen. sacrifice for our wrongdoing was consequently, watch this, y'all, what God needed to do. Mm-mm. Christ's sacrifice was so great, family, that it could completely replace all of the old covenant sacrifices. Here it is, family. Can I tell y'all in a nutshell, the reason why the veil in the temple went is because, watch this, priest, you're fired. Mm. (laughs) And now, here it is, Gail, I'm giving your job to all who will say yes to Jesus Christ. Mm. Family, how many priests I have on the sound of my voice. You ain't got to be Catholic either. Uh, (laughs) Yeah. And watch this, y'all. Aren't you glad that he has made us priests and we could go before the high priest and give him our confession, give him everything that's concerning us, and we ain't got to sit in no booth. Listen, y'all, wherever we are, we could talk to the high priest because we could go to God on our own. Hallelujah. Mm. Family, can I give y'all this? Access granted. <laughs> Notice, family, these backstage passes that we have to Christmas, you all. Can y'all look at them real close? Y'all trust me, y'all won't haunt your house. If you do, you pay rent there. Access granted. Oh, thank you, Lord. Um, can I tell you something? Access granted. Can I unfold it for you? Make a shout some more. That mm. that healing that you need, Hallelujah. access granted. That way that you need made, access granted. Right. You need to overcome your depression. Boo, God is there, and He says access granted. Right. You need more money in your bank account, access granted. You need right. your bills paid, Jesus. access 
Granny, Hallelujah. you need your mind regulated. Hallelujah. Granny, you yeah. need for God to cover your children, your grandchildren, your great grandchildren. Hallelujah. Access. Hallelujah. Granny. Granny. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Thank you, Lord. Family. Thank you, God. I'm feeling this over here, y'all. Thank you, Lord. Christ said, listen, I'm coming to open up a way for you so that, watch this, even in your struggle, your struggle won't kill you because you have access to me and you have access to everything that you ever need. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 That's why, that's why Deacon Daryl, that we, we did not die in what should have killed us because access granted was on our lives before we knew it. Amen. Phew. Y'all, watch this. Bro. I love this because, um, I'm an old head, dad. I'm, 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 um, I'm, I'm probably telling myself, I'm, I'm an old head. Y'all remember that old show, um, this old house. Yeah, and they will go in these um houses, digging there. These houses, I'd be scared for them because these things about to fall apart. I mean, y'all in the, these these Caucasian brothers, they in there, uh, sister Carol, they just like all oh, happy. Oh, we finna just renovate this place. You understand? It's falling apart. I mean, look at from the outside, that I ain't going in there. You know, no, I'm not finna no cash in my insurance policy for y'all. No, I'm not. But but what they, these houses, family, on the outside is condemned. All types of vines and everything hanging off of it. And these people walk up to it and say, I see potential in this old raggedy house. Family, can I tell y'all something? Jesus walked up to our old raggedy houses and said, I see some potential there. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I'm about to go in and I'm about to do some remodeling. <laughs> I'm about to do some tuck pointing in. I'm about to do some work on this old house. And family, can I tell y'all something? It's called sanctification. Oh, yeah. oh, I love it. Because he goes in, family. And before they could do anything, they could down around the house. They had to go in and take care of the structure. Jesus. Hmm. Lord. Aren't you glad that Jesus came in this old decrepit house and made sure that your soul was right? Lord, mm-hmm. yeah. Jesus. Family, God is telling us tonight that we have access, you all. You don't have to, I don't know who this for, this ain't on my notes, y'all, but good place to put it. You don't have to no longer live like a victim. Stop walking around with your head down. Stop walking around with your pockets full of tissue, crying tears, woe is me, womp womp. No, you have access, boo, to everything that God has for you. You have access to heaven's treasures. All you got to do is say, Lord, I want it. Lord, give me your very best. I'm tired of living belief that which you have created me to be. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. God understood that we couldn't get the very best under this old system. And Jesus is saying, here it is, you all. Before there was a Anita, Jesus came and said, Daddy, I want to give you the very best I got. Mm. And family, aren't you glad that Jesus gave his best so that we can have the very best? Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Good uh, news. Family. He did away with the old covenant and gave us a new covenant. Here it is. Here it is, Arnie. We have, we went from, watch this, y'all, having insufficient funds to an inheritance. Amen. (laughs) Listen, y'all. We went from insufficient to now we have surplus. And all God is saying is this. 
stop looking at your insufficiencies and tap into the surplus that I got right here. Right? Listen, family, it's so close that, listen, um, if we just reach out and touch it, it's right there. Y'all, it's not far away. It, it, listen, it's within, here it is, within reach. Yes, Lord. Yes, Amen. Lord. Help us, God. Yes, Lord. Tell me, how many people on the side of my voice tonight say, Pastor, I want God to help me reach. Yes, I want God yes, to help me reach. When I get yes, with God, yes, help, hallelujah, help me to reach. Help me to reach and get what you have provided for me. Watch this, family. The answer to your problem is all in your reach. Thank you for your words. Thank you, Lord. Family. He, he's telling us, family, that this sacrifice. Um, Jesus is a solution to the problem of sin. He's telling us, family, I'm feeling happy right here. If I holler and scream, y'all, that's all right. Y'all just holler and scream with me. I know y'all, y'all rock and roll. Here we go. Um, Jesus' sacrifice replaced all the sacrificial system. But here it is, you all. I'm ready to holler <laughs> and we going on to shout. Jesus' sacrifice perfected everything. Hallelujah. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Okay, family, can I tell y'all something? Uh, we're living in, watch this, y'all, verse 10. Jesus sacrificed, perfected everything. Verse 10, here it is. I'm, I'm getting happy, y'all. Here it is. And by that will, we have been made holy, hallelujah, through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once yes, Lord. and for all. Can I read that again, y'all? I'm who? Y'all, excuse me. And by that will, we have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Family, can I tell y'all something? Jesus died once, and he ain't died no more. Jesus. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Here it is. Can I shout y'all on the night? <laughs> Here it is. Can I put this in, in y'all mailbox? Who this is bless me? Dig it down. He said, listen, watch this. Dad, we're living in imperfect bodies. But watch this, y'all. We're living in imperfect bodies, but we're perfect beings all at the same time. Wow. Okay. Here it is. Family. This body that we're living in is not perfect. But the contents that this body is holding is perfect. Who, family? Here it is. When we say yes to Jesus, that soul, our soul, became perfect. And all we're doing is waiting for this imperfect body to depart so that we can live a perfect life with the perfect one in heaven. Hallelujah. You know, Amen. he's, Amen. he's Amen. saying Amen. that we are living Amen. in these imperfect bodies, family. Yes, Lord. But the moment we say yes to Jesus, yes, we became Jesus. perfect. But what this sanctification is that we have to go through what we go through because these imperfect bodies that we live in cannot be tamed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's why we have to read our words. That's why we have to come to the talk. That's why we got to come to church every chance that we get because this flesh is unruly. Ooh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Whoa. Yes. This, this flesh is not going to die without a fight. Come on. So then that's why God is saying we're living, watch this, y'all, a perfect life with these imperfect bodies that just give us the blues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All these bodies, mm -hmm. this, this, this flesh, these tendencies that we have, you all, how many of us can agree, gets on our last nerve. Yeah. Every yeah. time yeah. we try to put oh, one yeah. foot forward, oh, here come the yeah. devil, here yeah. come my flesh, when yeah. it kick us back down. But watch this, y'all. Greater is he that lives within yeah. us yeah. than he that lives in the world. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Family, I know we haven't heard this, have we? Like, Pastor, you mean to tell me I'm a perfect being? Walking around in an imperfect body. Oh, yes, I am. 
And listen, family, listen. And the strength that we need to fight this imperfect flesh, watch this, family, draws from that perfection that lives within us. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit, family, lives within us. Yo, aren't you glad yeah. that the Holy Spirit lives within you? Yeah. And we yeah. the Sunday, not only does the Holy Spirit lives in us, but we got God the Father living in us, and we got Jesus living in us all at the same time. And yeah. that is saying, listen, don't draw your strength from nobody else, but draw your strength from me. Ooh. How many of you all can yeah. say, yeah. Pastor, you sure enough right? Because right. when I became weak, when I wanted just to end it all, when I just wanted to walk away from it all, power kicked in and said, no, not yet. No, no, you're not giving up. No, you're not giving in. No, you're not going to take your life. No, you're not going to be depressed because I have given you the strength to overcome it all. Ooh. Thank you. Family, Ooh. Christ is telling us you are Y'all, y'all like being in Jesus Christ's dressing room. <laughs> Woo! Watch this, y'all. He's telling us here that we have been sanctified, holy, through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ. Watch this, y'all. Ah, can I shout y'all some more? Jesus is saying, when I give my body as a sacrifice, you're going to live off the surplus of the sacrifice in which I gave. <laughs> Watch this, you all. The verse test plays a critical role. It indicates that every person who placed their faith and trust in Jesus have been made holy. Y'all ready for this one word right here? Forever before God. Mm. So when God looks at us, y'all ready to shout? He don't see our sin. He see the blood that he shed way back on Calvary. Amen. Family. So that's why, listen, that's why you are not to listen to the transcripts from your past when the devil brings them back. You need to tell that book about Put that back in the library because they got blood on them. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Yeah, watch this, you all. It is a state that lasts forever and does not require any further sacrifices to cover our sins. You, can I tell y'all something? Full coverage. Oh, yes. Full coverage. Y'all say that back to me. Full coverage. 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 Aren't y'all glad it's not um, liability? <laughs> it's full coverage. Yes. Mm. Family, uh, Jesus is saying it's not the perfection state of being holy, pure, and sin free. Why see you all before him? Whether it is because we place our trust in the birth, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus to atone for our sins. Mm. Family, can I tell y'all something? Let's go deeper. Not only did Jesus cover our sins, but he paid for all of our transgressions forever. Mm. Think about this, y'all. Every sin that we have committed, all the sins that we will ever do, you all, has now been washed away. Aren't y'all glad about that tonight? He walks away. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Family. We still sin, yes, but thank God we have an advocate that we can go to. Thank you, Father. Family, this indicates to us that God the Father no longer sees our sin because Jesus' death completely paid for it all. I know you may say, well, pastor, I'm just a wreck. You got good company because I'm pastor wreck too. But we thank God for Jesus and what he did for us. Jesus, yes, Lord. Family, some people wonder, dad, what would happen if they commit a terrible sin before they die? Would they be pardoned? 
um, if they close their eyes, knowing that they have committed a sin, knowing that they didn't get a chance, Sister Carol, to admit their wrongdoing in the last minutes. Can I tell y'all something? Even in that, I know it's going to sound controversial. Ooh, pastor. Even in that, the repentance have already been spoken for. So as a believer, if in fact someone dies and say, you know what, I didn't, I didn't say sorry for this, it's already been covered. Mm. 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 Yeah, I know they, they like, Pastor, what? Yeah, it's already been covered. Mm. Through our faith and trust in Jesus who paid the full price for all of our sins, we are forgiven completely once and for all and for all of eternity. Amen. Family, that's why this world needs to know the good news, Dad. To let them know that Jesus has forgiven you and he will not, watch this, you all, he will not bring it up before you on this side. Once he has forgiven you, that's it. That's all. But family, take note that this is not a get out of jail free card. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, we still have our part to play. And we still have to ask for repentance. We still have to live upright before God and man. Family, he's telling us that we are to um, family. To look at this and say, Lord, thank you for putting on a body for us to come down and to be one of us. So, family, I hear Lady Q. I hear you, boo, upstairs. I hear you, baby. And I hear you, Virginia. You got your bow somewhere nearby. <laughs> yeah. I, I see you waving the bow. Here it is, family. What? does this have to do with me? Pastor, you have taken us on the backstage of the Christmas production. We glad to be here and to talk with Jesus to figure out what's going on. But I want to tell you all something, family, that for us to have a great appreciation for what Jesus did for us, we need to step in the backstage of it all. Yes, Mary. Thank you, Mary. And Joseph and all of them and the angels. Yes, you played your part. But family, there's somebody who's going to take the stage. Lord willing, we're going to celebrate him on Sunday morning. And family, how many of us can say hallelujah to the fact that Jesus is about to take the main stage? Can I tell you? Hallelujah. Jesus, the one who came down from glory, came into a manger, grew up in the hood, made ways out of nowhere, grew up amongst us. He is the one family who will comfort us when we need comfort. He is the one who will feed us when we need feeding. He is the one who will heal our bodies. He is the one who will regulate our minds. He is the one who will walk with us, God, when we're going through difficulty. He is the one who will make sure that we will have everything we need. He is the one who have kept us through COVID, kept us through all yes. sorts of things. Thank he you. is the one. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. He is the one, mm -hmm. family, that we celebrate. And family, we thank God. How many of y'all just unmute yourself and holler in your house because you pay rent there? Thank God he came. Yeah. Thank God that he came. Listen, family, we can make it to the 25th of December. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you that you came. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. It's more than a Christmas tree. It's more than gifts, more than food. Lord, thank you for bringing you here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And family, mm. Jesus coming to this world. I can't let this go digging there. Changes everything for us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. Yes. So 
family, as we come to the backstage of this Christmas production, Team Jones, we have to just shout to the heavens. Lord, thank you. Thank you. You saw this through. Thank you for loving us so much so that you put a plan in place so that we won't perish. Thank you so much so that you came down and you became one of us so that you can reach us. Yeah. Family. Joy to the world. The Savior has come. Heart the herald angels sing. Glory, hallelujah, to the newborn king. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Family, can I give y'all some instruction? Go tell it on the mountain. All yeah. the hills and everywhere. I need y'all to go tell it on the mountain. Jesus Christ is born. Listen, family, we may not make it to the 25th. The good Lord may rapture us up out of here. But right while we're here, we wanted to go on record to say, Lord, thank you thank for you, what you have done. Thank you for coming. Thank yes. you for loving us so much so that you came for thank us. Thank you, Lord. Yama, thank you, Lord. The best baby thank ever born. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we thank God, family. And family, and I'm gonna I'm I'm on my exit, y'all. This is my third one. Let's get off the ramp. Here it is. Aren't you glad that he was born in a manger, y'all? He was born in listen, that's a good place for a redeemer to be born in a dirty place because that's how he redeemed us in our dirty places. Yeah, man. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm glad. I'm glad y'all. He wasn't born in no pretty place. He was born way he was born where we were born in a dirty place. Jesus. But aren't you glad, family, that he lifted you and I out of our dirty places? Thank you, Lord. Ooh, y'all. He went <laughs> oh, I'm finna say something, y'all. He went in Ten Pain Alley and pulled us somebody so all of us out of there. Y'all hear me? He was right there. He like, I'm finna, I'm finna go and pull it, pull it. Just come on, let come to Jesus now. And aren't you glad, family? Aren't you glad you heard him beckon you to come to him? Yes. So tonight, family. Thank you, Lord. I want us to celebrate. Yes. And as you celebrate, family, take a consideration. Listen, get your backstage pass and just sit at the tree. And I know some of us, uh, Virginia, I wish you could just pass out some tissue because it'd be some crying tonight. Mm. Just thinking about the fact, looking at Christmas from Jesus' perspective. Mm-hmm. To say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, here yeah. it is, Arnie. Thank you, Golden Girls, for being the friend. Thank you, Lord. thank you, traveling yeah. the road back again. <laughs> your heart is true, your pal, and your confidant. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord. for being the friend. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And aren't you glad, family, that we were once enemies to God, yeah. but now. Yeah. He's our friend. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Amen. Lord. Well, family, this is the word of God for the people of God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Family, right, right where you are, family, can you just begin to praise the Lord uh, for coming, oh, yes. coming on yeah. your behalf? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank Thank, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Well, family, I, I thought about I thought about something. Um, yes, that's Lord. that's some amazing love, isn't it? Yes, Lord. Thank that you. God yes, that God will take an essence of Himself yes. and come down, leave mm. glory. Awesome. awesome. Out of love, you all love. Yes. Love brought Him here. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Love Thank brought Him here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Family, all those who are saved and glad about it, can you just just shout and say, Lord, thank you for saving me. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Well, yeah. 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 Listen, family, you, you will survive everything that you go through because he has saved you from it and he will save you in it. Amen. 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 Well, family, how many of you all was glad uh, to be at our Wednesday worship on tonight? Amen. 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 And what a wonderful way, family, to close out 2022 as far as Table Talk is concerned. Mm -hmm. To to get some backstage passes Mm -hmm. to to the dressing room of Jesus, Mm -hmm. uh, to peep in on the conversation that he had with his father. And watch this, family. He did all of this because he loved us so much so. Aren't you glad that the Lord loved you, family? Yes. 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 Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Praise your holy name. Man. And family, uh, come on, you all. Let's welcome our extended family um, that joined us on tonight. Um, Deacon Rhines is joining us. And Amen. I, and I hey. see a number. Um, I see a number here, 7189. Can someone, uh, can you announce yourself who you are? God bless you. This is uh, Minister Sabina. Hey, Minister Sabina. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome. Hey, welcome. Hey, yeah. man. We, we thank God that you have joined us, Minister Sabina. Uh, listen, we're so thankful um, that you have joined us. And thank God. Uh, she's from New Zion, you all. And this is um, our extended family. This is our, yeah. our sister church. And we thank God for New Zion. Um, we joined with New Zion um, for their prayer. Um, they have prayer and then they uh, 12 and 6 um, every day. You know, they pray yeah. every day at 12 and 6. And then um, we join in with some of their um, services as well that they have. And we thank God um, they, yeah. that Sister Sabina has joined us on tonight. And we thank God for Deacon Ryan joining us uh, on tonight as well. Amen. 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 Family, um, give you all, give you all a praise report. Amen. Um, my mom, um, she could probably unmute, her, mute herself and tell you. Um, she went to work today, y'all. We prayed yesterday. She went to work. She said it was so peaceful in there. Ooh, hallelujah. <laughs> she said, she, she said everybody got along. I said, hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 And family, we want to let you all know. Sydney is at home. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Sydney, yeah. Sydney is home. Hallelujah. And listen, she the three months of tears is back together again. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen. And we we thank God. We thank God for prayer, and we just thank God for His keeping the power. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Once again, family, how many of you all was glad to be in worship on tonight? Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. And for uh listen, family, for those who may want to give, right? The Lord just dropped this in my spirit. Who wants to give, you can give um electronically through Zelle. Uh sweet P, can you put that up for us? Um sign night given 7370 at gmail.com. Amen. Sign night given. 7370 at gmail.com. Thank you, Lord. I, I got it. I got it. Oh, I got my memory. Yes, Lord. I did it. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 All right, family. Um, listen, um, I normally, you know, normally in worship, uh, we don't do this, uh, but we're gonna do it here. So if y'all feel y'all want to express yourselves, feel free to do so. And then I bless our homes and pray.
and then we'll move forward. Pastor? Yes? Thank you for this message. It, it was such a reminder of, it, it's like a special Christmas gift, you know, for, for us to uh, remember what what Jesus did, what gift he gave us. Um, it, it, it made my day, it made my day and it, it, it's blessed me. Amen. To God be the Amen. glory. Me too, Amen. sister. Amen. 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 This is uh, uh, Minister Sabina, and I am so glad that I was able to join on. I came in, um, I think, kind of in the middle of it uh, by the time I got in, but um, I thank God for being able to receive the word and be encouraged because we forget and we lose sight with so much uh, happening at times. It doesn't mean we're not saved or that we don't still love the Lord, but sometimes things begin to cloud our way and we push those (laughs) seemingly small things to the side. But this was a reminder that of um that he came to deliver us from it all and so uh thank you for a good word uh teach tonight thank you amen 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 all right any other expressions uh, before i pray and bless our homes he gave us the gift ever Yes, he did. Amen. Thank God for the best gift ever. Amen. And Pastor, also, you reminded us that God has come down to us. All we have to do is reach out to him. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. All right, family, I'm going to um, bless your homes. Um, Deacon Ryans, I want you to pray us out tonight. Uh, if you don't mind, sir. I'm going to bless your homes. Bless your homes with God's peace. I bless your homes with God's productivity. I bless your homes with God's provision. And certainly I bless your homes with God's protection. All right. Deacon Rise, are you there? Okay, he probably stepped away. All right, Deacon Daryl, can you um, pray us out, please? Our Father and our God, we just thank you for another time at the table. We for what our ears have heard, what our what understanding that was placed in our hearts, and what words we heard, and now are in our minds. Father, we just thank you for your word. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for finding a way for us, for sinners like us. Father, we couldn't do it ourselves, but you came down from glory and you you made a way for us. And we thank you for that. Amen. Now, Father, as we go our separate way, we we never leave you. So we said thank you for that. Thank we you. just ask that you would allow what we've learned tonight to stay in our hearts and stay on our minds that we may always remember the goodness that you brought for your people. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, family, I pray that you all have the rest of your Wednesday be wonderful. Amen. Amen. And listen, and my words to you all is to rest in God's peace. Amen. And Amen. trust and trust and know that God is going to fix everything um, for you. Whatever you need, family, is within your reach. Amen. Amen. So Amen. reach out and get whatever you need from the Lord. Amen. Love you all until we Love meet again, all. family. Everybody be safe. Good night, all. Winter is coming. <laughs> good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Pleasant dreams. Thank you. Dream. Thank you. Thank you.